level is low. Do you want to find a charging point nearby? And now we have 10 screws, laser guided screws that unscrew the battery from the vehicle. We're going by 2025 to be present in 25 markets worldwide, so we have big ambitions. NEO's founder and CEO, William Lee, had a vision for his cars. One that laid emphasis on digital technology, artificial intelligence, battery swapping, and a tight-knit community of NEO buyers and fans. It's worked wonders in China, NEO's home market, but Lee has now set his sights on conquering Europe. We choose Norway because it's an environmental friendly country, people's mindset is open. We of course have the uh, highest percentage of EVs sold uh, in Europe and uh, it's a sustainable country. 98% of the energy comes from re renewable sources and we like that. And we will enter four new countries uh, this year, so Germany, the Netherlands, Sweden and Denmark. Rebs Louis Koppel is in Oslo to check out the first ever NEO battery swapping station outside of China. His car, the NEO ES8, the first NEO model in Europe. Your battery level is low. I think you should switch to eco mode. Do you want to find a charging point nearby? Louis can stay in the ES8 as the empty battery is replaced with a fully charged one. You so just press start parking. Parking. And we're good to go. So now if you release the brake, yeah. then Nomi takes over Please from you. Please watch your surroundings hmm. and do not press the gas pedal. Oh, Turn the steering nice. wheel <laughs> or open the door. Yeah. So I could put my hands away right now, yeah, <laughs> which, exactly. is, which is pretty funny. So what you see that Nomi just took over the car, she's going to park it in for you. Um, and the whole process from here on is, is fully autonomous. The swap station does more than just replace your battery. So this car has an old software version. Ah, okay. The station has identified that the car has an old software version. Mm -hmm. It's going to update the car ah. and then it's going to do the battery swap. So you always have the latest software update when you get out of power swap system. Ideally, and, and most people have their, their car connected at home mm. so to the Wi-Fi car pulls in the data, also if you don't have it connected, it pulls in the, the latest update, but it also installs the update for you. So you don't have to manually press the button and go, the swap station does it also for you. If you have over-the-air software, you cannot change anything. You can just change the features and the buttons you have yeah, on the yeah. screen. But with firmware over-the-air, we could choose to say, look, we want the air conditioning to work when the swap is happening. We want the screens to work when the swap is happening. Ah, okay. So those things we can rewrite in the, the core code of the car and change the experience. Because now you see the screens are off. Yeah, yeah. It could be that we recode the car in a way that in the next software version, it could be on. Neo's swap stations also let you change the size of the battery you want to use. The old battery is not going directly into the battery hotel, it's first moved on the side, then in the meantime, a new battery is being taken out from the battery hotel and yeah. will be put into the vehicle. And only after the swap event has finished, we have the old battery who is going into the battery hotel and is being charged. In theory, up or downsizing your battery is possible. And to make sure it's glitch free, an operator keeps an eye on things using a touchscreen. We have more than 860 swap stations. It's going very, very fast. We have completed these swap stations in around four years. Uh, the goal of NEO is to install and operate 4,000 swap stations worldwide by 2025. And thousands of these will be outside of China. So, what's my final verdict for today? I have to say, I had a lot of fun driving the NEO ES8, which is really comfortable. And the swapping station was really impressive to me because you can switch a battery in under five minutes, which is even faster than going to a petrol station. And I think this is the future of mobility. 
Neo's ET7 sedan is set to be launched in Germany at the end of 2022. With 478 kilowatts of power and 850 newton meters of torque, the top of the line model is set to go over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. Thanks to its solid state 150 kilowatt hour battery, Neo's clearly got VW and Tesla in its crosshairs.